Welcome back to Nailed It! Today I have this beautiful snowflake nail look for you guys, so stay tuned and I'll show you how to recreate it. Alright, first off we're going to start off with the Light Elegance Gel Justice. I'm going to apply that on my pinky finger and halfway on my middle finger and my pointer finger as well. And then I'm going to cure and then I'm going to do a second coat as well. Now I'm going to go in with the Light Elegance Buttercream in Metallic Silver and I'm going to apply that on my middle finger. Then I'm going to get my Born Pretty Ombre brush and I'm going to blend Justice into that metallic silver color. Um, this was kind of difficult to do because the metallic silver um, has like a lot of sparkles in it and it kind of overpowered Justice. So that's just something to keep in note if you're wanting to recreate this look. Alright, once that's cured, I'm going to go back in with Justice to do my second coat. And this is the part where I mean about um, the metallic silver. I definitely did not need as much as I put on my nail. Um, it could definitely overpower Justice, so if you're doing that, just be mindful the Butter creams are very highly pigmented, so you just need a little bit. Alright, and once I'm done with that, I'm going to take the metallic silver and I'm going to apply that on my ring finger as well. Now I'm going to go in with Light Elegance Ice Ice Baby and I'm going to apply that on top of the metallic silver on my ring finger. Next, I'm going to go in with Light Elegance Dance to Dawn on my thumb. This glitter, you guys, is absolutely beautiful. Definitely one of my favorite glitters that Light Elegance have came out with. I, it's absolutely stunning in person. So I'm going to do one very generous coat, and then I'm going to cure, and then I'm going to come back and do a second coat as well. Alright, now we're going to move on to some stamping. I'm using the Born Pretty Plate BPL-032 for the snowflakes and I also use the Silver Dust Moyu Lending Stamping Polish. Um, it, it turned out pretty nice. I like the way that it popped on the blue. Um, I really think that on my ombre nail that I should have used the white dust or a, night, a white nail polish for that so it can pop out a little bit more. But I kind of like the fact that you can see the snowflake on the blue and you can kind of see it on the silver but not as much. So um, I would leave that up to you guys if you're wanting to recreate this look. Just keep in mind that you can kind of barely see the snowflake in the metallic silver. Also I'm going to apply the uh, snowflake stamp on basically all of my nails besides the ones that I put the um, Ice Ice Baby on and the Dance to Dawn glitter. So all of my other nails, including the ombre, has the snowflake on it just in case it's not coming across in my video because I know I sped it up pretty quick and fast so I'm not sure if you guys are able to see which nails I'm doing but I'm also doing both hands. Alright, after I'm done stamping and cleaning up, I'm going to go in with my Light Elegance One Step and of course I'm going to seal in that design that I just stamped on my fingers. Alright, and I feel like this look wouldn't be me without some bling. So I'm going to take my Born Pretty, um, it's kind of like a, I don't know what shape it is, but I'm going to take this big beautiful blue diamond and I'm going to put it right in the middle of my nail. It's one of those 3D ones so it doesn't really stay on right. So I used the Light Elegance One Step to seal it in and then cured it in my light. Then I'm going to go in with some Born Pretty Caviar Beads. And these are just, you know, your standard silver caviar beads. I'm sorry it doesn't really come up on the camera. But in person, you guys, this looks absolutely gorgeous. I definitely love how it looks. And um, 
Yeah, I'm going to apply that all around the gym. And then I'm going to take some Swarovski crystals in blue. And I'm going to apply that just at the very tip so it gives it that nice little pretty put together look. Now I'm going to take the same blue Swarovski crystals and I'm going to apply that in the middle of my um, snowflakes. I saw Talia do it. I definitely like the way it turned out and I think it was very creative so I, I decided to apply it to my look and I think it came out pretty awesome. Now for my thumb, I'm just going to take some clear Swarovski crystals and I'm just going to do a little bit of crystal placement. Nothing too fancy, but just give it some crystals. Alright, once I'm done with that, I'm going to go in with my Light Elegant Super Shiny and I'm going to apl apply that all over my nail. Um, I try to avoid the Swarovski crystals on some of the fingers, but hey, I had to go over it. <laughs> I had to go over it on some of the fingers because my glue wasn't quite dry yet. Um, I do notice if you're using smaller crystals you just need a smaller amount of glue and that brush doesn't really give you a smaller amount of glue so I'm going to have to figure out something else to apply my Swarovski crystals with. These are my final results. If you like this look, don't forget to give me a thumbs up on this video. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so excited that I reached 500 subscribers, so thank you so much. Bye!